things you can do with a bridge hammock is to use a hiking pole as a spreader bar. Uh, I'll give you an example. Here is a nice, uh, it's a Leckie. It's called a Photo Sierra. Um, it's a hiking staff and uh, it comes in three sections. Now what you want to do is uh, you want to insert inside of the hiking staff some uh, dowel inserts to make sure that you've got uh, solid material from one end to the other and not be trusting on the expansion joints uh, to keep the hiking pole at exactly the right length. So you loosen things up and, it, and you give it a good tug. It's a sort of a scary thing to do the first time, uh, but it does come apart. This is the expansion joint. And uh, inside, you cut to fit a piece of dowel. So this is an oak dowel. It looks to be uh, about six inches long. I'd have to measure it exactly. I mean, I did measure it, uh, but I don't remember exactly what it is. You slide it inside there, and you jam it all the way, and tighten it up. And at this end right here, I don't want to have the expansion joint holding anything at all. And so now I've measured it, and so this hiking pole right here now is exactly uh, the 36 inches that I need. And so now I need to be concerned about how to attach the hiking pole at the head end and also at the tip end. Now for a monopole like this, this is particularly nice and chosen exactly for that. It has a wooden head. I've taken off the wooden head and put on a little piece of vinyl here to uh, protect, uh, protect the cord, as we'll see. But what this is going to allow us to do is to put cord over this and center the force, which is the key thing using a hiking pole. You want to have this force centered straight down the pole, and if you can do that, then it's safe to use the pole. So now I'll go hook it up to the, uh, to the hammock. So one challenge is how it is that we're going to attach this end of the hiking pole uh, to the corner of the hammock right there. To do this, I'm going to go to a big box place and get something that's called a wire nut and also a washer that fits it. And it just happens, you size it appropriately, that you can get it so that this fits in just so. And now what we're going to be able to do is to slip this piece in, in between right like this tip is right there. So it'll do essentially the same thing. Now since this is an easy thing to lose, I've got a piece of cord here, and so when I'm using this, I'll tie this cord to the hammock itself so this is always resi. At the handle end, we're going to slip that in and make it serve the same purpose as that. But since this has threads and I want some uh, protection of the webbing and the cord against the, the sharper edges of the thread, what I've done is I cut a little piece of vinyl and then I'll just slip the vinyl over the top. This is something that uh, potentially easy to lose and someone has to be take careful track of that. But now I can use this pole just exactly as I've used that pole. So here we go. This pole goes away. Now at this end, I'm going to open this up a little bit. Open it enough so that I can put this tip in, like so. And likewise here, we want to open this up to accept the tube. Slip the tube in and over. And there, now we're snug. I'll show you now that it's not all smoke and mirrors. You see that I'm in. Uh, this is holding solidly, a nice dual use for a hiking staff. I'll show you one more piece of do-it-yourself gear. Uh, it's a three-quarter length quilt that I made. It's pretty lightweight. One side of it is made of Momentum 90, very pretty. Uh, the other side of it, a little bit different, um, I used some very lightweight Cuban uh, fiber. And so you can actually see the, uh, you can see the down that's inside and the baffles, which are two inch high. I also uh, use Cuban fiber as well. So overall, this loft is, uh, I think, two and a half inches, and uh, there is, uh, ooh, something approaching six and a half ounces of down in here, uh, but the whole package here weighs eight and a half ounces, so that's pretty light. Now to put this quilt on, the first thing you want to do is you want to turn your hammock uh, upside down. It's a whole lot easier to put the quilt on if you're doing it from the bottom. So we'll just flip it like so. At the head end of the quilt, I've got a continuous connected cord, and all one has to do is just loop it over the ends of the spreader bars, and when under tension, that's going to hold it just fine. So now the cord at the foot end is a loop. I'm going to bring it up here, and I can pass that loop through the loop that's in the suspension, like so. Pass it through, and then just put a toggle in place to hold it. 
do the same on the other side. And now this will slide to where it is it's going to be. So as you can see, when the uh, underquilt is tensioned up, it pulls everything up. So it's not something that you want to leave in that state. So when I'm not in the when I'm not in the hammock, then I disconnect the ends and disconnect them over the top of the hammock, and the quilt just sort of hangs there. And so that's fine. Uh, when I get into the hammock, things uh, look a whole lot better and I can slide this quilt along the channel and put it wherever it is that I want.